Hello guys, this is Moro from PrintFoTech.com and in this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10, build 10.130. Uh, um, this is a new build that Microsoft recently released to the fast ring of updates and it has quite a few new features since the uh, last official release, uh, uh, build 10.122. Uh, and users will also find if you've been following my videos is that uh, there was a, a leaked version the uh, build 10.125 which um, has quite of, um, a few features that we see now on this build but uh, still the uh, build 10.130 um, it's uh, has has quite a few changes that are worth uh, pointing out so let's get right into them Okay, the uh, the first things uh, I'm going to show you is that now on the um, on the start menu we can change the um, the listing of items that appears right here above the uh, the power options, and we can change that by going to the um, personalization, start and customize customize list. Uh, we're gonna see first. We're gonna see three settings. We're gonna see uh, that now we can control occasionally uh, show apps and content suggestions in the start menu. Uh, it's total display recently open programs and start, and show the uh, recently added apps group. Uh, so those are new settings that we can change. Before we couldn't. They were uh, visible, but we couldn't change them. But what in what's interesting to us is the um, customize list link which takes us to this section where allows us to to customize the uh, the places the locations that we can go directly from the start menu by default uh, we only have the uh, file explorer and settings which uh, there is a bug upgrading from uh, windows 10 build 10.122 that um, the people will see that nothing will show up on the uh, on the menu but you can come right here and turn them off and you'll see these are the two defaults and now we also see that um, we can add more places to the list uh, right now file explorers and settings are the only ones with them um, uh, with the um, uh, respective icons and you'll see the uh, documents and downloads and all the other uh, places that we can place the only have a placeholder icon which is um, a smiley face so um, so that's uh, that's new that's new on the uh, on the new start menu now if we go inside of the uh, uh, all apps we'll see now we're gonna find that clicking on the letters that correspond to the area where we have um, uh, apps we can click that and that will take us to the this grid of uh, letters that allows us to get to apps more quickly we click O and it takes us directly to O however we can always find uh, apps more quickly if we use the uh, search box uh, so that's also new uh, let me show you really quick because we can also let me see if I can find a uh, free app that I can store really quick. Um, let's do this. I don't know what that app is, so I'm just going to start to show you that um, that now in all apps we're going to see a new uh, label that indicates that we have a new install app. And let's let's this uh, app load. And install. Okay, so now if we go back to the start menu, and we just give it a second. Now we see there is a new uh, label right next to all apps that indicates that we have a new app installed. And the same is true when we go to tablet mode. And let me, that's a bug that uh, sh always shows. Uh, Cortana when we go to the uh, tablet mode we'll see a blue dot that also indicates that we have a new app installed so I'm gonna show you the tablet mode in a second but I'm just gonna go back here and so to show you that now um, another change that Microsoft is adding on this bill is changing the default of the uh, taskbar when when we move between uh, virtual desktops 
now if we create a new desktop you can view right now that if we go to desktop one we see the running apps right here but now if we go to desktop two those apps will now show us running um, so that's a, that's a decision that Microsoft made based, based on feedback but you can always change it going back to the uh, to the settings of the uh, virtual desktops now uh, we also have a new changes on Cortana and that is that there is a new um, uh, initial setup that is more friendly and is, is quicker and friendly for users to, to get started um, Microsoft is also adding a new keyboard shortcut which is uh, Windows C that brings us to the uh, mini version of Cortana which is the uh, voice recognition uh, UI and this is the uh, same UI you're going to see when you um, uh, when you have the a Cortana feature uh, enabled so let me see that's okay so even though you will see that a lot, uh, you know a few things that are not working quite right this uh, build is pretty uh, pretty solid and more polished than before and it looks more complete okay so uh, now let me show you really quick that uh, Microsoft is renaming the uh, video app to movies and TV and as you can see now it still looks the same as a video app and on this um, on, on this app now in this update now we can let me show you if I can uh, we can full screen uh, the um, the video let me show you really quick that uh, we can let me see if I I'm working with a virtual machine so you might not see everything working perfectly but uh, even the full screen doesn't work perfectly but now you can see right there that it works it works good so let me get out of here and let me go to the uh, to the next things I want to show you which is when we go to to tablet mode and we get rid of the Cortana that is right there we go back to the uh, uh, to the start menu you'll see there's new icons for music, new icon for movies and TV new icon for getting started and there is a smaller icon for the uh, uh, for the store um, but also uh, we're going to see that we have a universal back button that appears on all devices when we go to tablet mode which is a really nice addition and better yet for tablets if we go to another app if we go to an app and then if we move around the app we can click the back button and as you can see right now jumps uh, one step back every time and when we get to the uh, home page of the app if we click back naturally it will take us back to the uh, to the start screen or the uh, start menu on build uh, 10.1.3.0 we're also going to notice that uh, Microsoft is removing the uh, changing the uh, 3D um, flip uh, update animation for this better animation which I think I like it a lot better so I think it's really nice that the uh, the 3d wasn't wasn't doing it for me but this one is much better alright so that's pretty much what's new on the tablet mode so I'm going to get out of here and I'm gonna close this up and now I'm gonna show you really quick that if we go to to accounts and then we go to the sign in options we now see hello the windows hello right there but apparently we can't configure it just yet and but there's a feature coming in the future we've seen this working on windows 10 1 2 5 but uh, it appears i don't know if it is because i don't have the hardware but it appears that uh, we can configure it on this bill all right, so um, the next thing I want to show you, and before we move forward, I forgot that um, to mention that uh, uh, on this build now we also have the uh, uh, jump me jump menus, uh, jump list menus working, and now you can see that now works on the um, on the start on the start menu and also works on the um, on the taskbar. 
so that's a, uh, now it looks more modern and more Windows 10 like so that's really nice uh, the other thing we're going to see on this build is that uh, Microsoft is updating all the icons and File Explorer has a new icon and if we go if we open File Explorer we'll see that uh, there are new icons all around now these uh, icons um, they look a lot better than before than in previous build, builds of the operating system but they still look pretty similar to the uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8 to what, to what we see in those on, on those um, version of the operating system I have some icons put it on the uh, on the desktop so you can see how this PC uh, network home group and quick access uh, look like and even if we go to control panel we're going to see that there is a new system icon and a new recovery uh, icon and recovery um, there is also a new uh, backup um, backup options to create a recovery drive open system restore and configure your system restore so we can uh, let me see we, uh, I was talking about this sorry about that we can go to recovery but we also have a uh, backup and restore so we can create a backup of the uh, files but more more than anything this feature Microsoft is adding to bring back your backup from Windows 7 or Windows 8 more than anything from Windows 7 because that's where the feature was created uh, alright so um, let me show you also that um, the, the Action Center has been updated and now it looks uh, it looks a lot better. The uh, borders has been updated too. So so everything about the uh, action center looks more polished and more uh, finished overall. And and it's it's an it's a much nicer experience to use it. We also going to see that the volume control has transparency and the flyout menu for networks also has transparency uh, we've seen this before so uh, but also has been updated I think on the on previous builds as well um, now let me uh, show you that we have Project Spartan Project Spartan or Microsoft Edge is still still has the name Project Spartan and this is build 10.1.3.0 and Microsoft uh, and the settings on the settings page is um, divided in two and now we have an advanced settings page where um, besides other options we can enable disable the Adobe Flash player and we can uh, enable disable Cortana right from these uh, settings we also have the option to pin the settings page or different or different sections to uh, to the browser while we uh, search the uh, uh, the internet. I uh, still haven't figured out when the, that's useful, but apparently that's something that uh, a lot of users uh, were requesting. Um, reading list has been updated and now covers the uh, the entire screen and doesn't look like a PDF file anymore. And reading list. Um, I mean, sorry, it's a reading view. Reading view is um, it's an option that Microsoft is adding to uh, to its um, web browser, so we can uh, read and get to the content of a particular uh, article uh, quicker and without um, much distractions, like advertisements or or different styling on the um, on the site. So that's uh, th let me see. There is. Other things are new. Oh, also, like if we go to uh, YouTube or Hulu, we can now play videos on full screen, which we haven't been able to do before. Let me see if I can full screen right here. As you can see, it's it's letting me do the full screen. So let me get out of here. I'm going to go back to MSN.com and let me show you one more thing that Microsoft is uh, 
add into this bill and that's the uh, is changing the name of the uh, print to PDF to Microsoft print to PDF so now you can uh, save um, a web page instead of printing it to your printer send it to your printer you can actually print it uh, print it to a, a PDF file but this is the uh, the new name for that feature so that's basically all the um, all the changes oh I almost forgot one more thing uh, there is new animations on the uh, on the taskbar so when moving files or downloading uh, files from the internet just as an example if we go to uh, Windows in Insider program and then we just sign in Let me just uh, go to the uh, ISO file so you can see. I want to show you how that looks like. Save. And as you can see, the uh, I don't know if you can see very well, but you'll see two layers right there that. Uh, uh, the second layer will start filling up vertically, uh, which we used to see it on the side. So that's a new that's a new addition to this build. That's not like a you know a, like a kill change you know killer change, but that's something new on this build. So that's pretty much all the uh, changes on on Windows 10 build 10 1 and 3 0. And I make sure that there is a, if there is any other changes, I will create another another uh, video and let you know what's what's going on so I hope this video was informative for you and I thank you for viewing